it just uh, it was a good place to grow up. Went to uh, Sarasota High School. That's where I graduated. When I got out of school, I went to uh, work with my brother-in-law. He had a it was Bish from Sedary back then. They had uh, they had cows that they milked every day, and we'd we'd sell the milk to well both we had two routes back then we had a route on the north side of Sarasota that we'd deliver in the morning and then we had a, a route on the other side of Sarasota we'd deliver to them in the afternoon. I used to live on mostly on the beaches. That was where I delivered most of my milk. Had all the Siesta Key one day, and then I delivered a Longboat Key the next day. And it, it was all right. We had uh, milking machines that uh, milked the cows, but if you had a hurricane, you had to milk them by hand, and oh, your arms would get so sore from. <laughs> not being used to milking those cows. It was pretty intensive work. And uh, the man that worked there, his name was Mr. Wallace. He had a little mustache like Hitler. <laughs> so we, we nicknamed him Hitler Bill. <laughs> he didn't seem to mind it. He was, he was all right with that. We had a lot of good times there, though. We, I remember one day we we had a place where we washed milk bottles and uh, we had this kid scared to death of snakes. So the bottles, when you put them in the vat to wash them, they'd be upside down and they'd float in there. And I remember we put we snuck in the back door there and put a snake on the on the vat of bottles. When he turned back to after rinsing those bottles. He saw that snake, and he ran out through the door, and there were two 10-gallon cans of milk there. He ran right through those, spilled them all over the dairy floor. And uh, he didn't stop till he got all the way to 41. I don't think he ever came back down there to help us. <laughs> we scared that poor boy to death. But that's the kind of fun we'd have. I remember we'd get through work, and... His uh, brother, Cy, he would, he and I would race to the house every day. It was about a mile and a half, and we'd run. Some days he'd beat me, and some days I'd beat him. We'd go down to the bay, and we'd get scallops out of the bay, and that was after we finished work. Back then, you could get all the scallops you wanted uh, just by wading in the water. And the fish too. We, you could pretty well fish anywhere and catch fish. We used to catch a lot of trout. It uh, wasn't anything to catch a hundred, hundred or so trout in one afternoon back then. A lot of fish. You could actually. We never, we never had to buy much meat between fish and, and we'd shoot duck and turkey and. You could pretty well just live off the land. I remember Sarasota had never had turkey season, and uh, it was a almost a celebration day when they opened turkey season up after it had been closed for so many years. I remember we were all in the woods there, and we knew there was turkeys in there. And we were waiting for them to feed into us, and. Well, we were all, there must have been 20 of us laying behind these logs. And uh, I can remember I was laying there and I asked the fellow next to me, I says, you think we can shoot them now? And he says, no, not yet. I says, well, they're going to get away. <laughs> he says, no, he says, it's not time yet. A couple of minutes more, I just up and shot. <laughs> and when I did, it scattered the whole all the turkeys and nobody got a turkey. <laughs> and I was so embarrassed, I tell you. <laughs> I thought I, I thought we'd have a whole covey of turkeys. <laughs> but back then you could, you could pretty well much live off the land. Uh, so it was, 
we had four daughters that we had to provide for, so that helped a lot. For working seven days a week, we worked seven days when I first started. I think I got $44 a week is what they paid us. <laughs> and uh, I, I usually ended up working another job. I'd work like I'd mow lawns for somebody or I'd work out at the beach. I had five or six customers out there where I'd take care of the yard and just do anything around the house. Later on, we even got to where we'd do remodeling for people. We put a head in a shopping guide. It was a little paper. We would, uh, like they wanted a bathroom remodeled. But we didn't know anything about remodeling a bathroom, so what we'd do is we'd go to Home Depot and and ask the fella in there how you put a bathtub in. <laughs> and uh, we got by doing all that stuff. Yeah, it was uh, it was fun growing up back in those days. That's been, I guess, 70 years ago now. And uh, we've been here, and my wife and I have been married now about 65 years. And uh, we built this house uh, in 1974. And we've been here ever since. <laughs>